What is up pieces for the win TCG? It's talking you back to another YouTube video. I do have to be a bit quiet in this video because it's a bit late at night. Um, but we're going to be talking about PTCGL. Now, if you don't remember, I made a video when it was announced having concerns about PTCGL and what it's trying to do and where it's heading. Now, my main emphasis of that video was really about how they were going with removing the market for trading and introducing all these gems and stuff. So microtransactions was something I was quite concerned about. Thankfully, that's not in the game, but the real issue here is it's turned out far worse than I even expected. At first, when I opened up the game, I was quite excited. I actually was really looking forward to it. And overall, I was clouded by the new feeling of opening a new client to play my favorite game of all time. But after a bit of processing and actually playing the game, and even hearing what the community has to say, it's not looking good right now. Now, I understand that it is just the beta, which means there's it's subject to change and the whole idea of a beta is to give feedback. So here's the feedback I've seen from the uh, community so far. The first one is that it, it's quite confusing to just look at. It's almost like information overload at times. Loads of bright colors, very pretty. But if you just look at the board and how it looks overall, it sacrifices a lot of key on the board information. Let's, let, let's say what, what PTCGO would have for the sake of just looking pretty. There's a lot of space on the board when you're looking at the desktop version. It's almost like this is the mobile version ported to the PC, rather than it being a PC version primarily like PTCGO that has actually been ported to the mobile. It's all about condensing all of the cards and everything like that. It just doesn't feel and it doesn't look right. Sometimes it's hard to tell what's going on on your opponent's side of the board. You have to like really actually try and look to figure out what is going on. Whereas in PTCGO, it's almost like you can just tell immediately. It's really not that hard. But PTCGL, it's, it's, it's a bit more effort simply to look at the game, which maybe with some time and adjusting that can you know, that, that, that can go away. But it's definitely not good for people coming into the game. So I'm not a big fan of, as I said, the idea of sacrificing the core fundamentals of the board state for the sake of it looking better. I'm not a fan of that personally. It sh they should keep the core fundamentals. Um, so information that's easy to obtain by simply looking at the board like you would, let's say, on a tabletop whilst making it look better. I just don't know why they sacrificed it. I, I guess it's to try and make it look more streamlined, but it's it's just not paid off. Moving on to the next point, and this one seems to be, I don't know if it's just with the Mac, but I was watching uh, Mahone's Tricky Gym, his stream, and he's having a lot of visual bugs on his game. I haven't had that myself, and I haven't seen other people have it. Um, it might be because he, he uses a Mac, I'm not sure, but there are visual bugs coming through, but that's, I'm just making a quick side note of that. It's a beta, that's going to happen. Now, one thing that kind of irked me when playing the game is how much you have to kind of like drag and move things and it's something as simple as if I play a boss's orders I can't really put the boss's orders on the card I want to gush you have to play it then click it which is very strange um, another thing as well is when I was playing with the quick shooting in Teleon if you use its quick shooting ability it's not like PCCGO where you just click on what you want it to uh, what you want the quick shooting to go to and then it does it it's more like you have to go to your hand take the damage counter and drag it onto the one you want to do it which it's more like tabletop which is kind of funny because they're trying to stray away from that by the looks of it. So it's a bit odd. This is all leading into a main point that I'll get to. But that, that's one thing that I think over time is just going to be a bit irritating more than anything. One thing that I noticed right away, and this might be a, a real nitpick on my end. A lot of these will be nitpicks, but you've got to realize when you're playing the game a lot, especially if you're doing ranked and stuff, it's the small nitpicks that will build up over time and really start to irritate you generally. One of them was the, this is, I like, I like good looking things. I like decent graphics. Or I like it to look professional, but there's times where the card will come up and it'll come close to your face as they're revealing a card. And it's the, it's just really low resolution. I'm not sure what it is, but the quality of the card is terrible. And what, what my expectation is, is that what they do is they actually get the image of the card as it would look in your hand at a much smaller size and just basically zoom in or bring it closer to you, revealing the card. It's a bit strange because if you like right click on one of your opponent's cards or your cards in play, it'll give you a very close high res image of it. But in that circumstance, it's low res. It just looks unpolished in that regard. One thing is just, again, a small thing. A lot of these are going to be small things, but you know in PTCGO how you can hold control and then double click a card and it'll put all four of them into the deck builder. 
you can't do that here. You have to kind of click on the card, then you have to go one, two, three, four to put it into the deck. Unless I've missed that, because it could just be me that's missed something there, but there doesn't seem to be any sort of shortcut with that, which when you're building a lot of decks, like me, I think in my time doing videos, I've built over a thousand, two hundred decks or something like that. Like that's gonna, yeah, that's gonna do something for me. But that's just fr from me, that's on my end. Uh, on top of that, the card search really isn't as efficient either. Like if, you, if, you, if you're looking at a card and you've zoomed into it, you have to kind of click an X to get off. You can't just click off the screen. You have to click that specific area to get off, um, which just, again, it, it, it's a lot, it's unnecessary. And then also trying to get used to the uh, the actual UI of filters and stuff. And if you search in the filters, then let's say if you search something, you have to bring up the search bar by clicking on search. Then you have to type something. Then you go, let's say, click on the filters, try and do whatever filters you want. You have to click off the filters, click on the search again and remove that for the sake of just going back to normal. There's no just like clear or anything like that, which again, I know is very, very nitpicky, but these things add up and they do add up together as well. Another weird one is the card library, like your collection is only visible through the deck builder. So you have to go to deck builder to see your cards. It's not like you can just go to the card library like in PTCGO. You've got to bear in mind, I'm going to be comparing this a lot to PTCGO, but at the end of the day, that's what we are. We are going to compare it to that. It's supposed to be a better version of it. So the first thing we're going to do is look at that and go, PTCGO does it better. And that's a problem. Another one that this might just be me is when looking, when building the deck, you only have like a small box where you can actually see the deck itself, right? On, on the bottom right hand side of the screen. It's not hard to see, but there's no, at least from what I can tell so far, there's no like deck view where you can actually see the whole list, which is actually quite useful to some people who watch streams um, and watch YouTube videos when they want to build a deck and they don't want to let's say uh, like me back in the day before I knew you could kind of copy and paste into clipboard. They look at the screen and build it like that. Like that's just kind of gone, which again, small thing, but I quite liked that and I'm a bit sad that's gone too. I also have issues myself. I don't know if this is anywhere else in the world, but I, for the life of me, cannot find a game online. I, I, I click search and a game does not pop up. That's one thing I've had and I haven't seen anyone else have. I'm not sure what it is. I don't know if it's because I'm in the UK particularly. So if there's any of you UK content creators who've, or people in the UK who've tried it out, let me know if you've had that issue too, because I just can't join a game. It just won't let me. Now, one of the more disappointing things is for those who migrated their account over. That means all their stuff has gone through to PTCGL, so they're kind of stuck there, and they have to play the beta, which is why I didn't migrate anything myself. I was like, Do you know what? I'm not going to take the risk there. This is a beta. PTCGO is still there and playable. I'm not going to go off and, you know, do that. That's a bit silly. So although, although these are all quite small things, it really, as I said, it really, really adds up to make a, a far less enjoyable playing experience compared to PTCGO. PTCGO, although it is more polished because of course it's been out for so long, it, it's, it's just way better than this. It's way better than PTCGL, which is incredibly saddening. I've been so excited for it. I was excited when I launched it and it just isn't right. Now, don't get me wrong. A lot of people are saying how they're not okay with the direction they're trying to go and what they're trying to do with it. Me, myself, I, I, I see no real problem with it. You know, I'm okay with the fact that they're trying to make the game more, more rewarding for, for newcomers who come in and they're trying to expand the audience of the game and trying to reach into this, um, this, I, I'm going to use the term niche for lack of a better term, uh, where you see the things like Magic the Gathering and you see the Yu-Gi-Oh um, version as well, where they're just reaching into a completely different type of audience. Um, purely because of the game that they've built. Um, I understand that they're trying to do that, but the execution is, it's bad. It's, it's amateur. It's just really, really clunky. It needs more efficiency. It needs to be more user friendly. It needs to make people feel like they can just go and do what they want to do with nothing that's going to just go, oh, got to do that quickly or, oh yeah, do this. Like, we need to remove all that stuff, all the issues that come with it just being clunky, it being inefficient. It, you have, you have, it's, it's, it, the best way I can describe it is it's PTCGO with extra steps. That's the best way I can describe it. It's just made things a lot longer. Even in games, you know, having to, as I said, cards coming up, drawing to your face. That's one thing I actually didn't mention, by the way, when you can draw a card, though, when you do draw a card for your top deck, at the start of your turn, it kind of draws it and goes up to your face and puts it in your hand. That would irritate me over a certain amount of time. Do you know what I mean? Just throw it into my hand. I know it's there. So something I do like, I do like how the hand 
can kind of stack the cards that you have. So let's say if you have two researchers, it just shows one researcher and says two on it and has one just underneath it. That's okay. I like that. I think that's a good, you know, I understand what they're doing there and that's okay. But, you know, there's a lot less uh, times where I'm saying, oh, that's actually better than me saying, oh, that's not great. As I said, I, I'm okay with it, but it's just, it's just not done right. It just doesn't feel good, unfortunately. And I know this is harsh and I know it's extremely critical, but that's because I love the game. I want it, I want people to play it, you know? I want everyone possible to get involved and enjoy it and understand what it's about. You know, I really want people to come into the game and be like, this is amazing, not go, oh, this is quite, it's quite a lot, it's quite long, oh, I'm not a fan of that. It needs to be all about the user experience. And it seems like it's just, all it's cared about is looking like a, a top, like a, a, I'm not going to say AAA, but like an actual game rather than actually, you know, caring about how it's played and how it's navigated and, and all of that stuff. And even its own community, I hope things can be taken on board. If I can round it up to a few words in how I feel the game is right now, it is amateur, disappointing and unnecessary. So my videos for now will be on PTCGO. Uh, that's not like some sort of protest or something like that. It's more just, uh, I can, one, I can't search for games. And uh, two, this game definitely needs a lot of improving. Um, and I do prefer PTCGO. I, I really do. As old as it is, as you could say, as, as adjusted to it as we are and as boring as it may seem, considering that's all we've known for over a decade, it's better. It's better for the viewer. It's better for the player. So I think I'm going to stick with that for now. That's been my thoughts, but it's not the end of the world. It can get better. And I assume it will. I assume it will. There's still pros to this as well. You know, there are still good things about the game. Like it does actually, um, new players that come in do have the opportunity to see top tier um, cards. You know, you get, you get like Rapid Strike Urshifu, you get um, single strike Urshifus, you get Intellion engines, like a new player who comes in will be like, th those are the cards they start with. That's really good. It really introduces them to what is the, the top tier of the game and how it's being played right now. So that's a great way to bring people into the actual formats. But the, the whole client is just, it's not good. And I only wish for it to be better. Hence why I'm making this video. I hope um, you can see that I'm not trying to just you know, take a dump on the game. I'm actually trying to sit here and think, look, these are the issues that have come up so far. Like that's, th there's probably more that's going to be discovered, but it, it does, it does need to be better, unfortunately. And uh, that's just the truth. It's, it's, it's the harsh, brutal truth. That's what I think. So yeah, I think we're going to leave it there. I don't want to talk too long. Um, and I don't want to go on a rant. Let me know your thoughts down below how you felt like playing it for the first time. Do you agree with me at any point? Is there any other issues that you've noticed pop up or do you think I'm wrong on any of them? I I'm really curious to see what you think and get a good understanding as to, as to what the reception is for this game. But yeah, other than that, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave it there. So uh, yeah, peace.